Hello everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... I am Mike Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to probably the last stream of the main campaign of Doom Eternal, since, well, we've gone past the point of no return. And for some reason, it seems I'm back to going stop motion with this. Uh, yeah, for some reason, the game decided to go back to uh, full screen mode for some reason. Uh, let me see. If I go back here, restore defaults. Put you back to windowed. Okay, that has caused a drop in... Ye yes, keep those. Okay, yeah. Nah, uh, there seems to be something up with this game as well. That's for some reason, just resetting the you know, graphics just makes them run better. For some reason, even though they were already there, I, I believe, or they should have been. Curious? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we'll probably finish up with the main story, but we will be playing, or we will at least be starting, uh, the New Gods DLC. I've heard good of the first part, bad of the second part. So, yeah, if it becomes too much, I am willing to drop that. Then move on to the next game in the series, Dawn, uh, Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War. And speaking of, I've been trying out the Winter Assault uh, expansion, or standalone expansion, whatever you would call it specifically. And yeah, I'm not really liking the, this or the, the ordered campaign. So I'll be giving the Disorder campaign a try. And if that is also just not, and not fun, I, I've heard described, I've heard Winter Assault described as hard, but it's playing more like tedious so yeah if it if the disorder campaign is also just tedious then yeah we'll be moving on to dawn of war 2 instead after we're done with the first oh yeah was it dawn of war 2 we couldn't name the characters uh don't think so and it's you're thinking of battle for middle earth Okay, we have to re re do, yeah, redo this bit again. Got a bunch of Praetor suit points ready. So let's take a quick look at those. Uh, fire twice before needing a restock. Each demon killed scatters, spawns scatter bombs. Okay. Emits a secondary, non, a larger non damaging explosion that falters. Okay, that would be useful. And takes less time after firing. Let's take that. Oh, that's what the those these little things show how many points they cost as well. Uh, let's get this one as well then. Okay, yeah. I, like I said last time, I really thought that it was either frag grenade or cryo grenade, and that there was no uh, that they were on the same cooldown. You know what that now means we would probably have had a lot of things easier in the past. Yeah. So it does not have much reason to go fighting. There. Since all we need to really do here is to go up. There. Okay, now we need to take those out. Yep, no, get me out of Is that a... Yeah, no, it's... For a second I thought we were... There was a... Uh, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm just... I'm just completely blanking on the name, but the flying... The, the flying faces. I, for a moment I thought there was one of those over here. I forgot as well! What the heck? Okay. 
Now you what it called stone us or no. I have a good check it uh, off the fights. There. What were the bloody names? I've completely drawn a blank on that. Thank you. Not not Mancubus. Uh I completely forgotten. Okay. In any case, we're just moving on. Get to the transmitter tower. If you can destroy it, the unrefined energy should be able to propel you into their world. The tower is held aloft by two enslaved titans. Break the chains, drop it into the well below. Dave? Come on, uh, did not mean to use that, but it swapped over to that. Are you stuck? Why does it keep swapping to that one? Again, why does it swap to that? Am I really out of ammo with everything? No, I've got... got... Uh, actually, there. There you are. Oh no, my brain. Hmm? <laughs> I just imagined a, a meme that may fit the value of saw the zombies. Oh. I, are you familiar with the flex tape memes? Oh, uh, with, with the water tank and such? Yeah, I mean, in this case, I stole a zombie in half. And it seems I'm back to stop motion anyways. Oh, oh wait, in the witness I saw a boat in half. Okay, then I don't know what uh, is on about. Oh, he saw a boat from point to back in half and fixed it with flex tape. And it apparently worked. It still worked. Okay. How do we break these then? Well, first, let me grab some BFG ammo. Since we wasted two shots of that. Why is it showing? Oh, I see now. Okay, they made a little puzzle out of it. And is that one open still? Yep. Yeah. Hopefully not on a timer. Okay. And here we go. Let's see, none of the challenges. Okay, don't care for the secret encounters. Okay, kill more than one enemy with a single blood punch. Perform a black back glory kill on a tyrant. Left side glory kill on the arch vial. Okay. And of all the stuff, we... Yeah, we, we really missed out on a lot with this. Okay. Yeah, bloody heck. Oh uh, well, moving on. Erdak. Nectarvol's energy conduit has transported you to Erdak, homeworld of the Conmaker. The souls of Earth's victims flow here, converted into a source of energy for a dying species. The Conmaker will stop at nothing to save Erdak, even if it means the complete consumption of Earth. Prevent her from gaining control of the Icon of Sin and put an end to her plans once and for all. Okay, where no man or demon has ever set foot before. Yeah, the demons cannot enter here, though, I think. The Conmaker is nearby. We must stop her before she completes the ritual and gains full control over the Icon of Sin. 
Okay. Let's see. There's three of these to be found. This is Urdak, the homeworld of the con of the makers. A brief age analysis of the structures and ar the, ar the architecture here indicates that this world is older than any other in our databases. Similarities can also be drawn to multiple pan-galactic religions, indicating that the maker's influence was not limited to Argent and Noor, and that over eons their influence has spread across the galaxy and potentially the universe. Some Im imagery is akin to religious icons in the Orion Cygnus uh, arm of the Milky Way, an area which includes Earth. The name Urdak is common tongue in the Maker language, but can be approximately translated to the word for paradise or heaven in hundreds of different languages, further cementing the theory that the Makers have had a religious impact on mortal beings for millions of years. <clears throat> Despite their seeming godliness, the Makers have a past. At some point in their ages history there is mention of the Father, a logical, alien, uh, a, a logical alien entity that endowed the Makers with their vast knowledge and technical ability. Analysis of Maker artifacts and sculpt, uh, scripture indicate that the Father may have been a singular uh, being that split to form the Maker race, who instead transferred his incalculable power into the vast structure known as Urdak, which then birthed the Makers in perpetuity. It seems that the Makers... Uh, and though exceptionally long-lived, suffer eventually suffer some form of biological and mental de 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 degradation, at which point they undergo a process known as the Transfiguration, wherein a they allow a voluntary death and resurrection somehow tied to the Father. This process may have been complicated or damaged in the recent past. Okay. Yeah, because if, it, if the Transfiguration is basically resurrection, then why would they give a fuck about it happening and in previous notes we uh, they didn't want it to happen at all he did say something in vision past went wrong so yeah. they may not be able to do that anymore let's see there are no records of how the father came to the makers when it was first discovered or if it had any physical form before the makers the first mention of the father is in regards to the, a building named the luminarium it was a temple of sorts where makers would go to seek answers. I actually, I think I, I think we can guess why it would have been damaged or uh, changed recently, with well, them basically, <laughs> basically turning evil. That's probably fucked things up for them. Let's see. The essence of the father was stolen by one of their, uh, by one of their own, by the maker uh, referenced to as the Sephirim. Who the Sephirim is, or what he did with the Father's consciousness, is unknown. Records show that one day the Luminarium simply ceased to communicate, and that a deep scan of its data banks, data banks revealed no remaining trace of the entity. Urdak itself exists in an anchor state, utilizing highly advanced dimensional shift technology to allow a static position at a sub-quantum level. This is essentially inverts their position in relation to Hell. Both planes of existence are fixed outside the bounds of the known universe, a lower and higher reality. The Khan Maker oversees all within Urdak and now utilizes ardent energy to prevent the transfiguration. Okay, why do I get the feeling that when they transfigure now, it is into demons? Okay. One way oh, trips. Sure. And, uh, I don't remember we get more info about it in the DLCs. Okay. There's a mark for us to collect here, or rather a charge for the crucible. There. I'll take that. Hmm. But yeah, the what is that? The similarity or the parallels you can draw between heaven and hell with the, you know, the demons and the makers. And well, one case extremely literally, the other case, well, they've been drawing that similarity themselves the whole time. Uh, I would definitely say that we'd be dealing with fallen angels here then. And, okay. One can fail these, okay. There, I can... 
two, three. There we go. Okay. Really? There and there. You can steer side to side some in the air. Okay. I very much doubt that this is all just going to be platforming. Well, this is a Doom game. Of course, there's going, to be, there's going to be things to be fought. But are we going to be fighting uh, makers? Or are they going to... Mm. Demons supposedly can't set foot here. So it is either makers or something else that we'll be fighting. Just gonna go grab something. Wait, what? You cannot stop the procession. Whose heart is that? We will not be able to control it! No! If you can't control it, you can't abuse it. Did it just basically absorb? No, they, they were... Yes, they're still moving. Okay. Okay, apparently we still bounce. Oh, Maker Drone. The Maker Drone is a ranged heavy demon. While most of its body is armored, its head is a weak point. Shooting its head deals extra damage and a headshot drops armor and health. Okay. There. Give me that. Go oh, at. Oh, what was that about demons being unable to set foot here? Yeah, this is weird. Is it true that we use it also in say that they, ha they have access now? Probably. So yeah. I'm guessing what the act what this hidden story with this is, is that basically Hell let them use their energy so it would grant them access. Wait, didn't I break your armor? Thank you. <laughs> I made a complete lap before I found that one. Yeah, but also, again, it was also very hint that they were able to access more worlds thanks to them. Oh, hello. Dread Knights. Uh -oh. Moving. There we go. Oop, oop, hello. <laughs> Here he comes. Actually, what happens if I do one from behind with you? Yep. That.
There we go. Dice and dice. Uh, where did we pick up that thing again that we stabbed the heart with? Also, what was the whole uh, deal with the hearts? Then uh, you forgot them? Uh, the the, the vault, wasn't the it? The gave you it and told you to use it on someone important. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay that, that was a long time ago, like the second stream or so. Yeah. And bonk. <laughs> Early bonk. <laughs> and uh, number two. Second uh, Early bonk. I, I still need to count up the ones from uh, the last stream. So I don't know if we'll be hitting 50 or not. Okay, Icon of Sin. Oh, hello, what's with... Hmm... Let's see. As is written in the prophecies of ancient sentinel scripture, the titans, towering elder demons of the Infernal Age, would return on Earth from their immortal slumber. The titans are believed to be harbingers of the end times, primordial forces of chaos and destruction. Born from the tortured spirit of the betrayer's son, oh, oh hello, it was by hell's unholy design that the icon of sin was given flesh. The fearsome titan forced from the essence of mortal suffering once bore a human soul, a soul now transmogrified and entombed within the steel-beating heart of its former self. The betrayer, seeking to free his son from eternal torment within the depths of hell, made an agreement, a pact sealed by the black fates of darkness, that promised to grant his son the chance to return from death. The son would live again, but not as human. In hell's endless cruelty, the son was damned to become the icon, an inhumane, an inhumane existence bound only to its former humanity by the now disembodied, undying mortal heart. Okay, that explains the heart. <laughs> yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I believe in the original Doom's lore, there was also something about the betrayer who was manipula manipulated through her son. Yep, I think so too. But I, I knew this, I just didn't want to say it for I was unsure it was, if it was revealed here or in the DLC or not. Okay, I did not want to spoil. Yeah. Sorry. Well, let's see if we can get the counter up to 50. No. Not like that. Or that. But that way we can. own hand, an arm. <laughs> oh. Now it would be utterly hilarious. Uh, it would be utterly hilarious if that was specifically number fifty. You just have your snack. And get out. Oh, I would not be surprised. It's only welcome to count, and the number was actually sixty-nine. <laughs> Just to taunt me. I'm pretty sure we haven't hit 60. <laughs> but yeah, the, the fact that supposedly makers can't enter hell and demons supposedly couldn't enter Urdak tells to me that, uh, yeah, by using Argents, they've basically been corrupting themselves. And up here. And yeah, thus. Ironically, through the use of Argent Energy, they've basically been anchoring and transforming their worlds into another conquest for Earth. Yeah, so I would also be surprised if their full thing, Transfiguration, broke before they met them, and they started to look at other civilization in Hobo to find a solution. And when they saw hell, I thought, maybe there's a solution here. Obviously, a very wrong solution, but they're likely desperate. Yeah, desperate and also rather stupid, if you ask me. There. At least something just fell over. Give me a sec. Okay. 
Anything else hidden there? No. Nope. Wait, there is something. Okay. Ah. Good thing that I checked, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and there. Okay. I do wanna. Has Rick and Ted always been doing things, or is just something these two games became known for? Damn it. Uh, if it was a part, it definitely was popularized by uh, by 2016. There. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that to be a thing that could happen. What, 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 what the heck did you smash? That was the toad, and we basically just stomped it into the ground. And you just went squish. Yep. Awesome and you. Okay, we need five more of those. Okay. Oh, dual lock has been unlocked. Let's see, does that mean that we can now fire six rockets at once on two different targets? And of course I lose the lock. No, it's still just... Yeah, never mind. Sir. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay, that was a new one. Yeah, hopefully. There. Ah, probably still around. I think I only got two with that. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the destroyer blades. As I many people liking it, I mean, did it yep. very effectively. Yeah, but you. Okay, the, there is a the tip to use it whilst in the ground, uh, whilst in the air, to avoid the slowdown. But you're still going to make yourself an easy target. Let's get. Let's give that a bit of a try. Yeah, still for like half of it, we're almost standing still. So, yeah. No, uh, that's a no from me. Okay. Is that everyone? Hello. Okay. Um. There's something to do with the. Okay, that's one of those punching things. How do we get there? This? No, not high enough. Okay, something feels odd there. Like, 
Typically, when we finish up with an encounter, there's something to show where to go and such. So it feels like something hasn't spawned here or something. We've had it happen before, where one we just managed to avoid one single spot and the demon spawned there, or an empowered demon spawned there, but I'm pretty sure we've covered all the area here. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Helps if we actually reach the thing. There we go. Con maker. Let's see. Every 10,000 years, the collective maker consciousness, known as the Singularity, births a con maker, a supreme being destiny bound to lead all of Urdak until the next con is born. The Singularity, which contains the conscience, uh, conscience conscience soul data for every maker that has ever lived and died processes and refines this data as a means of selective evolution as hierarch of the conscience uh, uh, neural net ma ne neural matrix to which each maker is in interconnected it is physically impossible for a maker to refuse the collective order of shared consciousness and disobey a calm um, <clears throat> this system has functioned without error since the creation of urdak until now with the disappearance of the father, the makers are incapable of creating a successor to the Khan lineage, allowing the existing Khan to hold her claim to the throne indefinitely. Okay, and I'm guessing that is part of why she has gone loopy since, well, she's supposed to be dead already. She has literally outlived her, uh, uh, yeah, her functional time. Oh, and more than 5,000 years... She's been at it for over a million years at, the, at this rate. Yeah, then definitely she has. Uh, damn it. She has outlasted <laughs> the time that she would be. Uh, she, she's basically far past the point of dementia, to put it that way. Oh, he didn't see you there. I thought they were just feeding us some snacks. Nobody else. Okay. Who was the one that took the... And there's that meme line. Something flying around here. Of course. I don't even remember them our demons being a thing. Yeah, it could be something they added in later. It should. Hmm. If they were added in thing. later, I really hope that there is somewhere that we can turn them off. Okay, no hope. All of us are crazy. Wonder. Did they add them because people fired? It was too easy or something? Yes. I'm really growing to dislike empower demons more and more. Oh, 
Yeah, I, I, I got this like to do to even move of, as an idea sense again. If you see an Anthropo Demon, it means another player died to it. It means that you only it, things are only going to be made more difficult for you. Yeah, for some no, there's a some a player to blame. This is actually a horrible design. Completely overlooked this one. I believe you missed that. I can't hear you. It's, it's, it's basically a stroke of luck on if you get an empowered demon and even then what kind you will get. And like we we've seen completely easy oh fuck. We've seen completely easy ones. But there's also the, there's, it, no, imagine if you find an empowered marauder. Oh. Yeah, that, that We're that's already a horrible. fucking pain in the ass. Said it already. Okay, I'm guessing now we're going to have it fully revealed now what is the deal with Vega and Hayden. What is the. Hey, there. I heard something. Actually. There we go. Oh. I'm pretty sure we've been at three fuel for quite a while now. It's just they refuse to let us use it on the bigger ones. Then again, some some of the big ones required four fuel in the previous game. Oh, hello, there's a token there. Okay, how do we? Yeah, it's the door I keep hearing. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. Too low. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. A little bit of platforming. We. Yeah, this little bump here prevents us from really double jumping enough to get the height we need. Okay. This way forwards. Yeah. Almost landed short, I think. I wonder if we can even do... <laughs> it's stuck on top of him for a second, I think. I wonder if we can even do glory kills on the drones. But the oh f there's an arch vial. No, you're not. Uh. And again, if it was just the arch vial summoning demons, I would have been okay with that. But it's also buffing them with. That is just a. 
That's just an utter pain in the ass because this makes them so freaking aggressive. Yeah. And it becomes to the point that I can't focus on what I need to do. In a tactical sense, it makes sense. A gameplay a bit poorly balanced. Let's see, do we need to get in here? There we go. Maker Angels. <clears throat> These revered, you know, revered, revered figures serve as the speaking as speakers for the con maker, winning positions of leadership and high esteem within their species. Angels of Urdok uh, are gifted with orator rings, golden halos infused to their armor as a symbol of their status and rank. These divine beings occasionally give, uh, gather in conclaves or at summons of the con maker, but typically do not work together. Instead, being assigned as independent advisors and overseers amongst maker-controlled uh, worlds, and that explains well. In old, in all the uh, designs and such, you always have those rings behind people's heads uh, or or over us uh, depicted. We even saw that with the. Uh, we even saw that. Uh, Somewhere around here, with yeah, that aura, or this the circle that typically uh, is shown uh, around saints and such. So that's what that's from in this universe. And oh. also, that's the face that's been on the, that was on the doors of uh, <laughs> the fortress. Yeah, we even saw him in uh, one of the animation clips, but they, one of them went to come uh, slay your home. <laughs> okay. Oop, secret. Not so secret. <laughs> Maker drone. Okay. No. Let's see, I'm guessing we need to go to those two spots. Oh, hello, what's that? Hmm. And there, and there. Yep, we def- Okay, for some reason, we definitely would be- Oh, under shooting some of those. Save you for later. Where's the totem? There. Okay. I do like I can under I do like the buff totem somewhat in the fact that it, it forces you to scramble and look around for the damn thing. No. And well, it isn't, it's not hardly defended, so you can take it out just by getting to it. With the Archval, you only know that there's an Archval when you say spot them, when you see that they are summoning you know, stuff in. And then you need to go find the bastards. Oh, last hit. By the time you find it, it's likely already summoned at least one wave of demons.
Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's there try it again. But why does it immediately give me the most powerful weapon that I don't want to waste shots for it? Like, I'm guessing lore-wise, there is a connection between the buff totems and uh, the arch vials. What is that? Oh, hello, Rom! Hey, Rom. What Are you I doing do? okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Nate, since I needed to, and you know, had to change my clothes and all that. So, how you guys doing? Uh, decent. Though I am getting a bit annoyed by the end game of this game. The end game of Doom Eternal or the DLC? Doom Eternal. I just okay. let's just say that I really, I really <laughs> grow to appreciate why the people, why people hate the Arch Vials in this game. And the previous ones. Let's put it this way: a lot of people said Doom 2016 was easy, and we're paying for it. <laughs> Anyways, I yeah. do want what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I do agree with you there, Harry. Give me that. I didn't find Doom 2016 easy, but then again, I'm also not a good player in first-person shooter. <laughs> and I also played it on uh, Ultra Violence. I also played yeah. it on Ultra Violence. Fuck tyrants. Humiliating the cyber, the I mean the tyrant. Anyway. You're in my I brain. I don't really have anything to add, just uh, good luck. I would like to join up, but the thing is I also want to be able, I also kind of want to experience Doom, Doom Eternal by myself. I mean, overall it is a good game, but there's just uh, some parts that have me questioning why. They're really hey, just putting on the pressure here. Yeah, they are. Hey, did you get the Unmaker? Nope. Hey. Yeah, we may say don't lock that. Yeah. Well, good luck. Have a good night. Or maybe I don't really know you can yeah, Later. Be safe, Rom, and thank you for the visit. <laughs> See you next time, but... See yep. ya. Oh, what the... Oh, come on. Did they literally just blow me off the edge? Where even? It doesn't really help when I blow apart the stuff that should be giving me health through glory kills. Oh, something there. Give me. Oh, come here, you. Damn it, it, it got killed by something. Okay, at least we're, we're thinning the rounds. It, we've thinned the herd enough. Yep. Okay, there's at least one more. It came here. Okay. Yeah, that that was just that was just a spike for some reason. It's just align this stupid yeah. thing and get moving. So we all are on the grand finale. Okay. Probably should have used the chainsaw more, but there wasn't really that much chainsawable stuff, I think. Or if there was, they, they died in the... <laughs> they died 
in the uh, collateral. Hmm. Like, I don't want to seem like I am starting to hate this game. It just feels like towards the end here, they haven't been able to put in as much polish. Yeah, maybe we should have taken it easy. Yes. You can't undershoot these things. Okay, where's the welcoming party here? Oh no, we've already been through here. Okay. Bear. The god may her leaves earth to be consumed by the demons, or her world will die. You should also emit that yeah. because you've been living too long, you also have that pressure. Yeah. Though maybe they wouldn't have too much of a problem with that if they fall. He did hold themselves up by so highly. Just emigrates to the, uh, somewhere else, dumbasses. You know, I'd be, be surprised if they actually developed a, a god complex afterwards. Whenever I yeah. forced it into for so long. A god complex is definitely something I. <laughs> see them having developed over time if they weren't bloody born with it. Yep. Kill on that. Going to save that for something big. Okay, they just rolled over. And died? Nah, they died. Nope. They died on the stairs, so they rolled. Okay, are they going to spawn any tyrants? Because I'm going to be saving the, you know, the crucible for those. it there they are no, I have oh, to say <laughs> if you face an empowered zombie that would be both hilarious <laughs> and stupid but also can uh, would it be almost be sorry for the player who died to a zombie a bit get me out well, it would probably, as you said, glad you stupid, but also kind of embarrassing for the one who accidentally created it. Yeah. There's probably something in place to stop, pre to prevent zombies from becoming empowered. Also, I think you just may have created an empowered uh, uh, the drone there. <laughs> Out of bounds.
move. Okay, let me try and focus some stuff down. Okay, <laughs> good thing for invincibility frames during that. it with that. That's... Oh, come on, two of them. That little jackass. I just realized. Really? Get me out. The terrain. Did you really? Hmm? Have you noticed something weird with Urdak? Yeah. The fact that it's just floating in the air. In the void. You look around. A bit hard. I know. I mean, are we seeing hell corruption here? Okay, filling the herds. Screw it. Oh, we can do it. Oh, it's just the same as the normal one. Uh, normal zombies and such. There we go. Fuck off, you. Okay, yeah. Now you free. Look around. Do you know? Do you see what I mean? Yeah, you mean the lightning or such? Uh, in some of the other areas, there was a lot of weird rocks that seemed. I don't know if they're supposed to be there or that's hell corruption. I think these rocks are supposed to be here. Yeah, but I look... Sophie looks odd with them. By awakening the icon of sin inside her death, the seal has been broken. Now the demons may pass through the void as never before. You have brought her people oh. and this holy place eternal damnation. But and... it was arrogant to bring the dormant icon here. Her hubris has shattered paradise. Yeah, we didn't bring it here. She brought it here. And then she accidentally created the doorway here by bringing the damn icon of sin here. Yeah. 
And, well, even if we hadn't disrupted it, uh, she still brought a demon here. Yeah, while you look inactive, though, but once it activated, it broke the barriers. Yeah, and they were going to rake in it anyways, so yeah. Yeah, I, I think they were supposed to break it, uh, activate it elsewhere. Uh, but you are waiting it too early. Yeah, uh, we. I think most of what we did is what that we broke her control. Oh dear. I think the most that we have done is that we, well, we pulled control away. They were still going to activate it here. So yeah, in her despair to uh, save this place, she actually damned it. You know, one way or the other. Yeah. Something here? Okay, there, on the outside, just simply jump to it. Of course, the specter is just uncolored. Oh dear. Bo boink. Okay. Another one. That's... Yeah, that's just copied one from uh, the others. From the other ambient. Alright. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking they were mostly just expecting everyone to headshot the things. For ammo and such. I'm but they still put in one animation, just in case. Hello. Where are these supposed to be then? Is it the souls they take to fuel the world? Mm, no, don't think that. These are in storage, or... Hmm. Okay, I think I heard there, some people call them controls. clones. Great. Oh, Going there's so many here about you to meet. Ew. Hello. It's an over... <laughs> okay. That's how they look like without their armor. And uh, I don't know if they know what they say it here who that is. I know who it is, though. It's not the Icon of Sin, because that one's already active. So this, wait, if this is a maker, then how the hell did it get so big? Take a guess. Or oh, rather, no, no. take a guess who it is. Okay, I have nothing really. You had some clues earlier. Is this supposed to be the father? It is the lady theory. Hmm. I just forgot if they is confirmed here or in the DLC. Oh, my 
millennia we have survived. Made other sacrifice in the name of our prosperity. So that they may in turn find redemption. Good nice little lie you, you tell yourself. A human. Once a mortal to defy our traditions. Once a mortal. And who are you to demand people sacrifice for you? Okay. Temporarily disable her shield and refill your blood punch. When she is vulnerable, use your meat hook to get in close. <laughs> okay, and then use the blood punch. Oh, she has a lot of health bars. That's why. And that's... Mm -hmm. Ew, fire, fire. <laughs> Let's not fall off. Can't get a lock. Yeah, it. There. Next, go hit the wood. Nope, miss. I was hoping for three in a row there, but okay. Covering more and more ground each time, or something. Maybe. <laughs> Oddly enough, she seems easier to fight than the actual tyrants before. Uh, oh, oh, okay, if you leave her alone too long, she starts to regenerate. Yep. yep. Time for having to sneeze. Mm. 
come here. Don't look so different from the demons now, huh? Underneath all of that uh, grandeur. Okay, two blood punches can be charged now. Wait, why is that showing? Okay, some some of those thing and pop ups have been shown on stream. I've noticed, but some don't. Yeah, okay. oh, I just realized we still have uh, the big one. Okay, acquired one toy. 12 beams while in midair. And yep. How do we do on everything else here? Okay, uh, didn't miss as much as the last time. But I'm guessing now we're entering the real finale. A final sin. <laughs> Let's see. For he will walk among us, and he will smite the evil from this earth. For he who comes in our time of need is not of mortal breed, he is the destroyer, the right hand of our creator, and the one who brings fear where there is no hope. Korax Tablet 313. Okay, no fanfare. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we got... <laughs> you finally shot the hologram! <laughs> it finally shot the hologram! I, I think I took a shot at one before, but this was the first time that I just put a grenade in it. I should have been using this thing a lot more throughout the game, since it helps clean up it. Smaller stuff ne next to whatever I'm shooting at. Oh dear. And when it goes low ammo, I just go this. We're all wasted. 
This one isn't. <laughs> I'm in the middle of climbing up. Carcass. Make you an actual carcass. So much going on. <laughs> yep. Hello. Hello, big boy. And goodbye. <laughs> Cut it down to size. Oh, hello. Come on, I wanted to execute, not do that. Oh. Okay. That one to the face. No. Holy. I really like this gun. Stay. And I was a <laughs> okay, stomp it so like hard we stomp him through the floor. Ow. And I actually like this weapon. No. No. I don't know, let me... I think probably a big issue with the struggling with this weapon is probably more... Do we really know its main focus is supposed to be? Uh, yeah, high, high damage single strikes. Oh yeah, then it makes sense. Uh, when you wanna use it in that manner. Yeah, it's it's the equivalent to the Gauss rifle, which acts sort of like a sniper rifle of sorts. So it, that again just makes me think that the destroyer blade really doesn't fit with that, actually. If they gave us a sniper scope with it. Mm, the destroyer blade is more meant for up close and such. And, well, the Gauss Cannon had that attachment where it would be basically be, be, yeah, be one big laser beam, but it also had slowed us down. We also did not use that at all. Well, we tried it one part, I think, but beyond that, nothing else. <laughs> uh, let's... That way. Okay. Make it almost sound like, like it's supposed to be a very hard hit and... Shotgun? Almost? Yeah, not like that. 
it's a weapon you can't really use up close and personal. Also... I oh, I thought you said you, you were supposed to, alright. Yeah, that's the thing, the main fire of this thing is basically single damage on a really uh, extreme accuracy, and this is up close. You can see how wide this cursor has gone, for one. Well, it dealt with the Raptor quite effectively. Yeah, in the way that it's supposed to. Yeah, perhaps it's meant for these moves where you need to clean a landing area before landing. Overlook this. If that makes sense. There we go. Uh, it's more supposed to be for getting good shots on some of the bigger demons. And the destroyer blade basically turns that into a wide shot. the closest quarters, but still. Still not completed that. <laughs> Wanted to try, yeah, try and get a bonk out of that one, but okay. Oh, hello, Pinky. Pinky, want hug? Surprise. Okay. Uh, this can be annoyingly good at blending in. Can someone kill this idiot, please? Are you talking to me or talking about yourself? Wait, oh hold on. Are they keeping track of you? Maybe, or at least trying to track us through, well, <laughs> all the slaughter. Okay. The Archon's presence warps reality, damaging the implicate nature of our dimension merely by existing within it. If the Icon is allowed to remain unchecked, it would lead to the total, uh, to the total devastation of Earth, followed by a breakdown of space-time around the planet. The resultant black hole will eventually drag our entire universe down, casting it into the mouth of Hell as conquest to be absorbed by the Dark Realm. The oh, Con Maker... Hmm? Go ahead. So that's what's, what's so on was to bring Icon of Sin to the attack. Yeah. Once they activated it without the control, that was what happened, how the demons got in. Yep. Uh, da -da -da. The Khan Maker had taken measure, uh, measures to augment the Titan, installing Maker technologies throughout its entire throughout its structure to ensure it would be controlled. With the ritual interrupted, the Icon is now fully unleashed, raging across Earth until hell consumes all. No longer bound by the heart of the Betrayer's son, the Icon of Sin is free from any measure of control that the Makers might have once conceived. Only the Slayer, prophesizing Argenta legend to stand against the Icon, can stop this apocalypse. Sisters, something wonderful is coming. 
something truly wonderful. I'm, I'm guessing this is how most of Earth, you know, not Earth, Hell's conquests work. If they. Lemmy is God. That, that sounds like an in joke. <laughs> yeah. That and that's all, okay. So yeah, they, they send in the four... They, basically, they send in the lesser demons to weaken the barrier between worlds. Ooh. And then the titans come in to, well, pull everything in the side out. Because I'm guessing they can't send... They can't send the titans in... They did just jump off the... I think it just jumped off of the shield that the carcass had put down. What the heck? Yeah, my guess is that they can send in the titans, you know, like uh, the, the icon of sin in through first. That it basically is too difficult to pull, force, force them through. So instead, with the fire, with the smaller demons and the terror formation that they cause. They loosen things up until the, the an icon or such can be sent through. Totems can appear like that. Or was it just just out of its range or something? Yeah, complete miss. Upstairs then. Oh yeah, Helium loves stairs. It's so good with these gun, it's just so powerful. <laughs> the fact that it suits just everything, oh. Yeah, bl so much blue bl plus my fire flash at all. <laughs> And again, it's a weapon that probably is would be normally overkill, but when it again, makes demons. sense. Yeah, when facing demons, it makes sense. You flew fuckers could have been on the ceiling the entire time. No, that even. Come here. Get rid of your armor. Then get rid of get rid of whatever painting was on the wall there, apparently. And then you. Okay. Don't stand too close to him. Okay, this really could have been textured be textured better to show that it's climbable. Yeah, and I don't know if you have noticed, but. We are killing Mancubus, they will explode. Yeah, most of the time, but not always. Oh, they will always, actually. Yeah, the one we killed there didn't explode, I think. It's already gone, so you probably did just... As I was standing, if you stand too close, 
gonna die and then move away, they, they may kill you to simply cook exploding. Okay, come here, you. Come out of ammo. Not anymore. There. Actually, come here. Really, they can. Wait. They can block the crucible, really? Okay, maybe I'll probably have to stun them first, but still. Okay, let's try it again. Really good to use it, just not against the ones with the shields. Or as we said, it stunned them first. There. Yep. Finally got the mastery on that. The very end of the game. are just immune to that, which is bullshit, I'd say. Oh, no. Here. Now I have that song stuck in my head. What song? Chainsaw Buffet by Lordy. I wonder how many remember Lordy. There. I can't say I've, I've ever heard of them. Uh, the world thing is heavy metal band and won the music festival one year, years okay. ago. And people could, could see, see in Finland with strolling the world. Or they were from Finland. And they were from the only heavy metal band that who ever entered the melody festival. Really? The zombies were counted this time? Typically they've been oh, yeah, ignored. This is a zombie band. No, the, the zombies in this area. Yeah, oh. The game has been uh, partially on if the, the zombies are or not count uh, towards if an encounter is complete. Here we 
Okay. Yeah, I, I saw him walking by. Uh, I thought you were talking to somebody in chat or something. No, I, I, I call it a uh, I've seen Cini. No fight here? Okay. Uh, we, we can fight if you want. Nope. Just dealing with you quick. Hello, Baron. Yep, yep. There. Another one of you, huh? Good move. Uh, ammo. Okay, yeah, I just got myself cornered there at the end. I, I was trying to get to the, the shotgun for uh, an easy stagger on... Like, I'm just going to look it up. What was their freaking name again? Uh, Caco Demon. Yeah, I, I was trying to go for an easy stagger on the Caco Demon. Actually, there. And there. That should top me up. And yeah, there he goes. Like, I'm pretty sure they could have looked at the UAC and uh, what they did with the Cyber Demon and maybe <laughs> thought about, maybe that's a bad idea. Then again, that would require a bit of introspection, which I don't think the makers are really, or at least the con maker, is really capable of. Uh, I don't I just want to get rid of the tyrant first. a bad idea for me to be in the same damn corner, but okay. Well, you know what to say. Don't corner a tiger. Okay. Or is that don't corner wild animal? Basically, as well. I don't actually know if using the chainsaw gives a full refill or not.
Maybe it depends on the foe? You, I'm going to deal with immediately. Just slice through it like it's a frick. No. Like it's a freaking lightsaber. I guess it's this world's equivalent of. Yeah. And yeah, as you can see, they they don't always explode. Maybe that a chance of exploding? Hmm. Oh, come on. Where is it? Where is the damn thing? Bonk. There it is. Okay. Now that they've all chilled the hell out. There. Okay. I see some BFG ammo. Well, we could have used it. <laughs> okay. Now then, we need to head up. Okay. Where is up? Or which way is up? There. Okay. God and gnomes are tougher than you. The nuisance here is that it's small quarters, with not a big area to fight. There. Okay. I really should be using that thing a lot more, but in close quarters I have better things to do than we hit random buttons on my keyboard. Yeah, they probably spawned up top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oop, right now, mental. Yep. There. Okay. Bit much for just one aim, but I will. Don't let it go. Ah, fuck you. One. Two. Three. Got behind me. There we go. Oh, you got folks. Uh, you call yourself demons? You have to say it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I jinxed it in the This one's just stuck. No, uh, band up buff totem, come the. Okay, I, when the totems are stationary, I'm okay with it, but them suddenly spawning in, then I'm just going to call bullshit on. What? what, what, what uh, oh no, that's not a good combo. Oh, eh, I know it's not. Arch Violent instead. Doesn't make it any less nuisance. You know what? Wait, what? Okay, the one that I want to use this thing. And that was a wasted shot. Oh uh, well, we get one back. Hmm. One... One... Maybe irony is that... The icon is actually smaller than the titans that were already on Earth. And again, it was already dead. Stuff really matters when they can summon a black to. Oh. Oh. Soon the gods will walk amongst us once again. Only then shall we. Just making it noise. I just realized something. Oh. Have you ever In this. Join the UAC and find out now. Uh, in this universe, in Doom, the Doom universe, yeah, are all black holes planets that they got consumed by hell? Maybe. We want your mind, your body, and your immortal soul. I think these have been repeat lines. That that thing is really freaking loud to be heard all the way over here. 
You, you do notice how big, big your scene no, is, not, right? Not that thing, that one. Oh. Freaking, uh, Rattletail. Whiplash. Yeah, Whiplash. Don't compare it to the uh, horror icon, uh, Tattletail. <laughs> well, you said Rattletail, not Tattletail. Yeah. But hey, Telltale also use pentagrams. Not get stuck. There. Yeah. Okay, how much longer until we've caught up to the stupid thing? No, my knee. He's dropping in on the party. There. Okay. That. Um, yeah, up. Hmm. It's See? starting to look a bit familiar like the first area of the game, I think. Yeah, uh, hmm. Are we gonna go a little bit over time to finish the boss? Uh, yeah, let's. more dangerous now that you aren't stuck in a wall. Oh, okay. it's a cold end. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, destroy its armor pieces to disable its protective energy shell. Shouldn't the exposed energy shell deals no damage. Okay, so we basically need to strip this thing down. And we're having to deal with little ads. Come here. Would prefer it is if this is what the heck is that? A, yeah, is that a blood punch charge or something? Might be. Incubus. Yeah. Ow. Let's see that pretty face. Don't know what it was binding up for. Don't think we found out why. Yep, yep. There. It's a good thing we took that rune that keeps him <laughs> locked up like that for longer. Let me up. Up. There. Okay. You and us again. Yep. 
Okay, I think we just survived a hit. There. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep. Two eggs. It, it's hard to it's hard to focus on this thing's movements and it, its tells for its attacks when we're getting swarmed with pests. To put it best. Yeah, like zombies. A will be fine with since that's how we heal and all that. But dread knights and doom knights and all that. At least no Doom Hunters out of ammo. Okay, when it's leaning forward, it's going to be using targeted attacks on us. Everyone get her up a bit. Give me that. Missed it. Those. Oh, ugly face. There. This, this is too much pressure. I need to focus either on getting rid of the small fries or jackass over here. There. And immediately all my health gone again. Dodge that, I think. Ow, did not dodge that. The stream time, but the stream dynamic can go to hell at the moment. over by a pinky. Ugh. Okay. Let's try this one more time as we fail again. Uh, we'll have to save this for next then. Yeah. It's a little bit pity. But yeah, it could be because we need them. But here I need a bit more awakeness and focus to do, do this boss. Yeah, it's not that. It's these fucking ads. Yeah, definitely that's also. Oh, man, the gods, really. 
I don't mind Actually, I'm just going to, to ignore them. A, as long they are not a massive penguins. Which they're being here. Yeah. Uh, show that pretty face. Not you. Okay. That's not one gone. Miss. There, bonk. Actually, wait a minute. Base of my lost track of a zombie. Missed most of them. Okay. Now everything is just gone. There they come again. Need that. There we go, that's a full heal. Burning downstairs, so we go upstairs. Is it just me, or does it look to be attacking randomly? Not exactly where we are and such. Who? I'm not. Well, I'm just moving around too much for it to get a bead. something I, I need to chainsaw something you Overall, still, I enjoy this game, but it feels like they've just overlooked some things. I was real angry now. No, we're not supposed to be if you somehow accidentally picked hard. You pain elemental. Now we definitely didn't go with the easiest difficulty, that's for sure. Now why why was it attacking the other side there? Okay, that's five pieces gone. And this is still only the first half. You. 
I just hope they don't bring in a stupid arts route here. If it's doing it with that, we're not going to be around for it. Almost got rid of all of its armor. Missed that shot. There. One more. Come on. Now what? With its armor fully destroyed, the body is now exposed. Take the portal and finish this fight. Okay, let this be a checkpoint. Now we need to destroy body parts. Okay. Well, good starter. So we did. <laughs> we did think as well. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, the show good damage it does. Okay. Here comes another for it. There's another. Catch that to your balls. No spawns for ammo. Never mind, thank you. Oh, oh, he changed position. Catch this to your face then. <laughs> 250 demons with the BFG. Mm -hmm. Come on, smile. Please, hey, since you're a uh, nuisance, so never mind. Flatter. With brow. Going there. There. Okay, can we focus on the main issue now again? Not you. Like slicing, look at me there slicing an apple. Fruit ninja, but where are you, angry piece of fruit? <laughs> you done with your meteor shower? If
Probably need to wash behind the horns. Is his face destroyed already? Nope. again it, it somehow got out of the game first time this stream okay that's the face done You know what? Get back here. Now, I think those things are respawning now. The tokens for the... It's a carcass. There is no more carcass. Let's <laughs> spin that thing like... Uh, there's another one. to the issue. Oh, come on. Uh. Now, this fight could have been long over if it wasn't for all the pests. You included. Still counted? Okay. Okay, time to clean house. Okay, any yep, there. Much. Okay. Come on.
shit. Okay, I didn't know that the you know, kills with the crucible also gave health. So knowing that earlier would have been a great help as well. That was overkill. Ooh. Okay, at least I hope those icons are, or pickups are respawning, because otherwise we're starting to run low on them. No, no, it's doing this again. Okay. That's another gone. Three pieces remain. Thank you for offering that. That it was a mechanized soldier I saw, or a mecha zombie, and not an arch vial. Yeah, that was a carcass. Arch might be too much here. Also, luckily, no tyrants. And yeah, they are respawning. Yes, yes, destroy all eight parts. Shut up and let me kill. Full hit there. And something to kill without bringing me in range of the icon. There. Wait, if it's doing this again. Yep. It should have had its fist raised for that. Oh, wait, that was... There we go. The ones in Future Slayer.
Name drop. Mm, subtitle drop, but okay. <laughs> Into the moon. Oh. <laughs> Iconic class, kill the icon of sin. Oh, Rod, I do see that image there with Doom Guy. Uh, <laughs> the demon just waist boned in two. Okay. Uh, oof. Okay, the, despite my complaints so far, which might in part be because we're, we weren't playing on the lowest difficulty, uh, I, I believe it was. Uh, well, you can double check in us after the credits, but. Uh, yeah, the, despite my complaints, still a really great game. It's probably more so just that between. with me splitting my attention and not using all of the tools to my ability, that. Uh, yeah, that just complicated things a lot more for me like i'm i'm pretty sure that the further we've been going along with the the yeah, with these streams uh, really <laughs> that the more the less i've been chatting <sighs> uh, yeah and i have but, problems chatting at all times due to how oh, much yeah. was going on <sighs> still a, a really great game oh yeah and now I do wonder, is Doom Guy's fight maybe eternal? Uh, but I'm not really sure what they could what they could really use to make a sequel out of this. Like Earth has been saved from the demons and the makers now, oh. so oh. Yeah, yeah, there's still the DLC, of course. But I'm thinking more like a full-scale yeah, new game. And again, they could well, just make an entire game of Doom Guy rampaging through hell, and people would buy it. Well, I have told you before, the next game will be a prequel. Oh yeah. Basically, it's got a prequel uh, as in before they got the powers. Yeah. <clears throat> they could put like, this one as a race car, but the prequel will be Doom Guy as a monster truck. All Less right. speed, but more hard hitting. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, we'll get started on the. We'll get started on the DLC next week. For now, a really dog guy. <laughs> okay, whoever that was, they were wearing a shirt of what I could best call dog guy, like Doom guy with a dog head. <laughs> oh no. Uh, censored. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Samuel Hayden and the oh, hooded figure, that? same voice actor on that. Hmm. Okay. I'll hold up. Wait. Okay. The icon of Sin had a voice actor? Huh? Okay. Wait, what? Hmm. And or are, are those the voice actors or the animators or something? I, I missed. I'm not paying full attention to credits. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll hold off on looking up stuff on uh, TV tropes about this since it could be holding spoilers for the DLC. But yeah, uh, with Samuel Hayden and the hooded figure or Sam uh, Samur. Having the same voice actor, I'm pretty sure you can say that they are the same person or same entity. Like I'm still unsure on a lot of things since, well, if some more knew all the stuff that uh, Argent did and would cause, then Samuel would be not so uh, insistent on trying to keep it around. So I'm guessing at some point. Uh, that Samuel got possessed or taken over by Samur or something, or that they became two beings in a shared body or something. I think they're and actually the same person. Yeah, that, that, 
then I have to say again, that does not make sense as to why Samuel wanted Argent Energy to be... Unless they were doing it so that... No, if they were starting the Argent Energy stuff to let Hell be... To let Hell take... To let Earth become a target of Hell, then then they wouldn't be as against it here or something. I, mm, I, th I feel like I'm probably going to end up looking up some lore videos, but there is some, I agree, there is something odd with it. Th like, there's the, a disconnect, there's a, a severe muscle, disconnect. Muscle piece. Puzzle, not muscle piece. <laughs> I mean, a puzzle <laughs> piece. <laughs> Um, oh, bloody heck. I, I think the boss fight effect in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And there's also the uh, thing about Vega being the father entity somehow. So... Yeah. That would... That would be a point as to Samuel and Samur being the same person, but again... How... It do things don't line up. Things don't line completely up as to, yep, their. Why they were to, using to... Argent Energy? Yeah. If anything, you, you will expect them to be com both completely against it. Hmm. And th there's also the fact of what happened between this game and the previous, because. Samuel obviously sent us somewhere, but did, did he send us to the uh, the Fortress of Doom and just stick us up there for 12 years or something? Because there is a big time gap between the end of 2016 and the start of this game. So this just begs the question, where the hell was the Doom guy then? Maybe so, we did get sent there and start to use it as a way to... Well, hunt more demons. Yeah, but then s still there, there's a big gap of inactivity, or something. Yeah. Or maybe he's just been a lot less active, or a lot less openly active, or, or something. He might have been preparing. Could be. Like there were <clears throat> one of the UAC broad or not the UAC, the Arc broadcasts did say did hint at doom guy having become a story among the the us among the arc people so he hasn't been completely inactive up there but hmm. still got a question Trombone. what he might have been up to then and there's, there's also the fact that what is really <laughs> There's also the fact of uh, those coins that he threw to the hell priests. <laughs> was yeah. was there anything up with that, or was that just uh, as a spiteful thing or something? Hmm. A cultural thing, perhaps. I, I, Maybe. I need hmm. to look up uh, the Doom lore again. Yeah, there, there are some things that are just not connected. Uh, DLC. I'm sorry, go on. There are just some things that are not connecting for me. Like Samur and Samuel, same person or same sort of entity, that still doesn't explain why he's so adamant for the creation of Argent Energy. Uh, Vega being the father, that can make sense that they would be taken by Samur, who also gave yeah. uh, the Doom, you know, Doom guy his immortality. Samuel, Samur, and Vega, all that, that makes sense. Probably what does not make sense is the adamant about Argent Energy then, not like, like, it's odd. Yeah, and I'm, I'm guessing Samur is also the Seraphim, the one who supposedly, you know, who was set to take uh, the father slash Vega. Yep, and um, also probably the same guy who empowered Doom guy. Yeah. But he, he seems like a master planner. But still, why the obsession about Argent Energy then suddenly flip? That's the oddity. Yeah, I, what, I think... Okay, I can think of uh, one thing. Like, uh, it was said that uh, Hayden, quote-unquote, made his cybernetic body, but I'm guessing uh, he was actually granted, the, or at least 
given the technology by Samur, who implanted his own spirit in it, and maybe with uh, Hayden quote-unquote dying or getting close to death, that Samur came back to the fourth you know, ground or something? Yeah. This hmm. made me to watch a lot of videos. But again, as I watched a lot of videos up till Eternal's DLC. Okay. So basically, any confirmed finish after the DLC is complete is unknown to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing we'll get answers on some of this in... Uh, I, I, I keep forgetting the, the middle of the word. It, the, the DLC is the ex-gods. Forgotten gods? Lost gods? I keep forgetting what middle word it is. Ancient gods, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing we'll get some answers in that, or at least some clarifications. Oh, I, so. I sure hope so. Or if it's, hmm. I almost feel like I've been, he's been planning for Doom Gang for a very long time. Hmm. Unless... Heck. He might be <laughs> wanted to be adamant and urgent energy to not raise suspicion to Doom Gang of who he was. But also mm. to just move things along for it was prophesized or something? Could be. So he knew that he had to be adamant about the ocean energy. For Doomgate would not be able to kill Icarusin and all that if nothing had happened. Yeah, I still... think I'm going to I think I'm going to stick with uh, some more having come to the foreground at some point in the time gap or at the uh, near death experience or something. Because, yeah, Hayden's been an, an egomaniac since the start of what we've known. And some more, yeah, we don't know much about some more, so we can't really overlay too much of that. Hmm. Anyways, we'll we'll either get it answered or we'll have to resort to theories about all of that. I've been watching some uh, lore videos on this. And the photos are are looping now. I think we're near the end because we're at the special thanks part. He just called me loopy. Yep. <laughs> Legal announcements always at the end as well. Okay, any after credit stuff? I guess we missed one that <laughs> well on board. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd actually seen that animation. I thought it was a fan animation before. Maybe it was, but at a later. I, I know yeah. that he had patched out the mysterious voice for the mysterious voice. You used to once say the Dark Lord, which was not supposed to say that. It was supposed to be his mysterious voice. So they had to patch that in. Okay. One Kodak and the right. at the end. Okay, just unlocked a bunch of extra fluff that I'll probably never care about. And there we go. Nope. Getting sent back here. Okay. Congratulations, you have beaten Doom Eternal. You can now continue exploring the Fortress of Doom or acquire any items you missed through mission select. You can also continue to test your skill by battle modes, jumping into master levels, uh, which are generally remixes of the campaign missions. The saying to the term. Okay. Not of interest for me. Let's see. Is this a new update? This is the Resistance Network in what will hopefully be our final broadcast. To all the people of Earth, to anyone listening, the Demonic Horde has been defeated. The beast, identified by ARC scientists as the Icon of Sin, 
was destroyed earlier today by the Slayer himself. And with it, the majority of the demonic force has dispersed. With the threat decreased, it is important now more than ever that we come together. There is hope. The human race will persevere. Many of the survivors believe the Slayer to be a godlike figure in what was a battle between good and evil of biblical proportions. As humanity struggles to understand what happened to them and why, many look to the Slayer now for answers, but his whereabouts remain unknown. And I'm guessing he's going to be staying up here until uh, Hell decides to show its face again to get punched in yet again. Okay. Probably. Good God, I can see why Prestolov made the whole meme of Doom God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have to go look up those videos. Yeah, here's the thing. It's, it's spilled over to his other videos, including his Minecraft videos. Yeah, I don't see how we're supposed to get up to that thing. Hmm. Oh well. Catapult. Okay, and with that, yeah, we'll have to call this extra long stream off. <laughs> Holy, yeah, I, oh, I almost four minutes so over. Sleepy. And yeah, uh, next week we will get started on the Ancient Gods Part One. For now, let's head on over here and go look for someone to raid. Okay, uh, I'll sub. let you pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, bring that up. Change the screen share. Uh, there. And there. Okay, let's see. Uh, any particular ones that stand out to me? I'm nice. We rated them somewhat recently. Sloop Tube was the last one we rated. Uh, Grim the Wolf is playing Neo, which is that uh, that Dark Souls, that Japanese uh, Dark Soul likes that Dark Souls like that we stream that we showcased a while back. Uh, Empathize is playing Dark Souls. Uh, Torpid Typist is playing Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. Is that the remake or the original? I'm thinking, yeah, that's the original. Uh, Derpy Doo is playing Baldur's Gate. A lot of people are play have been playing Baldur's Gate recently. I definitely can't blame them <laughs> from what little I've played so far. Uh, Hisaya, is Hisaya Rosier is playing Fear and Hunger 2, Termina. Uh, let's go raid Grim. Uh, oh, actually, I think they're about to end it, uh, since they've been going for three and a half hours. So, Hisaya then, I think. So, copy name, add to our place, and slash raid. And paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Um... I see Sensei had been uh, lurking, but they left at some point because chat here shows join and departs for me as well, or the, the chat program does that at least. So yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Don't worry, my and hello. <laughs> starting the raid, and yeah. Uh, tomorrow, no stream. Saturday, we will be continuing with our side quests. Evil Lands 2, hopefully we'll get a stream again. And, of course, Dave the Diver in the evening. Yay! Praise Dave! And Sunday, we should be having our 100th Showcase Sundays, so we'll likely be do going extra long with that and trying to showcase, well, eight games instead of the usual four. That, though I have plenty of you know, plenty of games installed if any of those, if any of the ones we try end up going short. You mean the 16 mm. backups? Yeah, not the, not 16 backups, but 16 games in total. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. But, yeah. Uh, Would we still do evening stream then? Uh, probably not. But, yeah. Yeah, probably now, we kill. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, sleep well, and don't let the bed gremlins bite. <laughs>